Namaste guys, Rajesh here from Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to do a comparison between the OnePlus 60 and the POCO F1. The POCO F1 starts from around 22 to 25,000 while the OnePlus 60 can be had for 38,000 rupees. And despite this huge price difference, these two devices are very much similar to each other. They both share largely the same internal specifications, which is what makes the POCO F1 compete with the OnePlus 60 despite the former's low price. So what all compromises does one have to make when they buy the POCO F1 over the OnePlus 60? Well, that's what you will find out in this comparison video. But before that, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please do so and make sure to click that bell icon below so that you will be notified of all our future videos. This is not going to be an in-depth comparison between the two devices. Instead, I'm just going to highlight how and where these two devices differ from each other and what the major differences between these two are. If you're someone who prefers a quality experience and is ready to pay a slight premium for a better build quality, for better and quicker software updates, a stock Android experience, a more refined experience, the OnePlus 60 is for you. This is because the OnePlus 60, apart from coming with a larger AMOLED display, comes with nice other features like an in-display fingerprint scanner, a more premium design, and it's also water resistant to a certain extent. Yes, it does lack an IP certification, but then OnePlus says that it has a certain degree of water resistance that is good enough for daily use. In comparison, the POCO F1 feels a bit crude, like the first iteration of a product, say like the first iPhone. So in a very similar fashion, while it has the same internals as the OnePlus 60, it simply doesn't feel as premium or as polished as the OnePlus 60. The screen, for example, while it has a notch and the LCD display is great for most cases, its rounded edges simply don't align with the rounded edges of the display glass. It's a very small thing, but once you see, cannot be unseen. Similarly, the phone just lacks in the refinement department. But then again, if you don't want to pay the additional 17, 18,000 for that extra refinement, then just go ahead and buy the POCO F1. You're not going to regret that decision either. If I have to sum up the differences between these two devices in one word, well, it's as simple as this. The OnePlus 60 offers almost a flagship level like experience for a price that is lower by anywhere around 20 to 30 to 40,000. But to reach that price point, it has had to make some compromises. Like it doesn't offer a flagship level like camera or it doesn't have the same quality display as you will find on the Galaxy Note 9 or say the iPhone XS. Similarly, while its build quality is premium, it's still a notch below the iPhone XS. So in the same way, the POCO F1 offers almost the same experience as the OnePlus 60 at a price that is almost 10 to 15 to 20,000 lower than it. So in a way, the POCO F1 offers a flagship level like experience, but that is more compromised than say what you would get with the OnePlus 60. The biggest difference that you will notice between the two devices in daily use is from the display. The OnePlus 60 comes with an AMOLED display with an in-display fingerprint scanner and it has a water drop notch. So the display is not only nicer to look at but it is also slightly bigger, it has better contrast, viewing angles and slightly better brightness as well. In comparison, while the LCD display of the POCO F1 is going to be good enough for most people and it is a fine panel by all means, it's simply not as good as the AMOLED panel on the OnePlus 60. If you're already using a device with an AMOLED panel, the switch to an LCD panel on the POCO F1 and you will immediately notice the slight downgrade in quality. But if you're coming from a budget Android device to the POCO F1, well, you won't really know what you're missing out with the display of the OnePlus 60. The OnePlus 60 does have an in-display fingerprint scanner and while it's cool to use, it's not exactly fast. 
as what the fingerprint scanner on the POCO F1 can do. Plus, both phones come with face unlock, which is faster than using the fingerprint scanner. So, the in-display fingerprint scanner on the Mantra 60, a cool gimmick, I will say. A very cool one, but not as good as, say, simply using the face unlock. The POCO F1 does have an advantage in face unlock. It, it fuses IR blasters, IR emitters. So it works better in low light scenarios where the OnePlus 60 has to boost the brightness of its display to work, which can get a bit uncomfortable, especially if you are in a dimly lit room. In terms of performance and battery life, these two devices are exactly the same. They are excellent performance and you will not regret irrespective of which device you select. These two devices have been out and out optimized for flat out offering the best performance possible in an Android smartphone right now and they both deliver. Both devices are also capable of lasting a full day of heavy use. And while the OnePlus 60 is able to charge itself very quickly thanks to Dash Charge, the POCO F1 makes up for it with support for Quick Charge 4.0. However, you will have to buy that charger yourself to enjoy that faster charging experience. Performance, however, is just one side of the story. The OnePlus 60 runs on Oxygen OS, which is based on Android 9.0 Pi. It's a near stock build of Android with useful customization options and features added by OnePlus. And then there's the POCO F1, which runs on a special build of MIUI designed for the POCO and outright optimized for speed. While the phone has got the MIUI 10 update, it is still based on Android 8.1 Oreo. Here you have to decide which OS you prefer, MIUI 10 or Oxygen OS. This is an important one. I am a fan of the stock aesthetics offered by Oxygen OS and its light nature. While many people will prefer MIUI 10 on the POCO F1 simply because of all the features it offers. So depending on your taste, you have to decide between these two devices. This is a completely personal preference and there really is no clear winner here. Another major area where the OnePlus 60 differs from the POCO F1 is in the camera department. While both phones come with a dual camera setup at their rear, the OnePlus 60 has a slightly better camera. This is especially going to be noticeable in low light scenarios. In daylight, you are going to capture almost the same looking photos from both these devices. But as the amount of light reduces, the OnePlus 60 and its superior camera sensor along with OIS is able to flex its muscle and capture photos that have more details, light and are evenly balanced. The POCO F1 struggles in low light scenarios and tends to capture photos that are blurry as the amount of light reduces. So if you value camera performance, then just go ahead and outright buy the OnePlus 60. However, if you're someone who doesn't really want the best camera performance from their smartphone and are fine compromising a bit, well, the POCO F1 is going to serve you just fine. So I hope guys that this video makes it clear as to which device you should buy, the OnePlus 60 or the POCO F1. If you value a refined experience, stock Android, then you should go for the OnePlus 60 and pay that extra premium for it. However, if you don't mind compromising a wee bit on almost every factor possible, which includes the design, the build quality, the display, then go ahead and buy the POCO F1 because at 22,000 rupees, it's an absolute steal. The OnePlus 60 is actually mainly for customers who were looking for a flagship smartphone, say like the Galaxy S9 or the iPhone 10, but instead want to save some money for them, the 60 is perfect because it offers an almost flagship-like experience. While the POCO F1 is for people who were looking to buy a premium mid-range device but wanted something that offered a bit more, which is what the POCO F1 does admirably. Irrespective of which device you chose though, OnePlus 60 or the POCO F1, you are going to love them and they're absolutely beast of a performance. PUBG, Fortnite, whatever game you play, these two phones are going to kill. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. If that's the case, please do subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And don't forget to hit that like button below. Thanks for watching.